Welcome to Shikhan.com. In today's tutorial, we'll see that in the previous three classes, the sum and functions that we have learned, how to use such functions properly into examples. And we will also become familiar with few new functions. So before starting, let's take an Excel document. Then let us save the file. desktop class 04 so in today's video we will see how to prepare a result sheet or a mark sheet okay so let us first prepare a heading by selecting and merging and let's give a title result sheet then after this, let us make it in center and let us increase the font. All these things we have learned in the previous three classes. Now, in order to prepare the mark sheet, we will first have to write the name of the students and have a list of subjects. So let us enter the list here first. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So like this, the number of students that we have should have a unique serial number. So let's prepare a serial number. Now we can see that the numbers are aligned to the right side and our text is in the left side. As we already have learned how to correct the alignment, let's do that first. Now we come to student name. So write name. After writing name, let's go to number 1. By pressing enter, we go down. Enter. So like this, we have arranged names of five students. And the next step is subject. So let's give it a subject 1, subject 2, subject 3, subject 4, Subject 5, Subject 6. So like this, if we have more subjects, then similarly for Subject 7, 8, 9, the names can be given. Like Bengali, English, Math. So all the subjects that could be there can be given in here. And uh, now we will as per our subjects, put the marks of students. In Subject 1, let's assume he got 85. In Subject 2, 90. Subject 3, 75. 70, 88, 95. In the same way, let's set it for Khalid. 65, 88, 78, 80, 92, and 98. So one by one, we will place the numbers that which student has got how much marks in each subject. Now after this, we will take out the average, the total, the minimum, the maximum, who came first, who came second, third and everything. So we are going to learn all of these things in this tutorial. We'll also learn how to arrange our mark sheet to know the result of first, second, third. Also, we'll see how much a student got in average. So all these kinds of things we are going to see in this tutorial. So that's why at first, let's arrange the file by numbering who got how much marks in each. So finally putting in the numbers, let's execute it. Okay. Now our numbering has been done. Here we can see on the result sheet that we have made, the heading is very small. So let's arrange the document first. So in that pattern, we will adjust our heading later on. Now we are seeing that the above alignment is at left and the below alignment is at right. So we will select the above alignment and make it a right. And in the previous videos, we have already learned how to highlight this second heading in a way. So for highlighting, we will give in the background an off-white color. Then let's make the font a bit bold. 
So now we can mark this as our second heading. Okay. Now for the students, we have already marked the numbers for the subject. Like for student 1, how much marks he has got for which subject I have marked that. After this, we are going to find out that who has got how much in total. So let's give the total field here. Now we will see how much in average he has got. How much minimum number he has received and his highest number that is maximum number received. So here we got four options out. And the last option that we will give is grade. Which means what grade he has received. We have still not learned the grade function yet. So in the new class that is today's class, we will learn how to get the grade out of numbers. But first, the things that we have already learned, let's get those things out. Like to know the total number that the student has got, we know what function to use that is equal, then sum. After this, if I select and drag these columns, then give the bracket and enter. So now we know that our total number will come here. That means the total number that the student has got will be shown in this place right here. And for every student, we don't have to do this again and again because we already know that. If we click and drag downwards from this corner, then we will get the total marks for all the students very easily. So we can see that how much Mr. Khalid or student Khalid has got here. The total is given here. The total marks that student Rabaya has got is also shown here. And now I want that the students that we have, how much average number that they have got here. Like the total number that they have got, in that respect, how much is the average? So for taking out the average, the function that we need to use is that equal and then we will write AV. When we write AV, we can see it's showing on the screen that AVE and then average. So after average is showing here, similarly, we will select all the columns. Then after giving a bracket and pressing enter, now we can see that we can see that the average number is 83. So student Abdul has got 83.33 as average. So in the same way, if we drag it downwards, now we can get everyone's average number here. So which student has got what average number will be shown here. So we will get this very easily. After that, we have minimum and maximum calculation for a student. We have to know in the result sheet what's the minimum number he has got or the maximum number he has got. Now we have already discussed about the minimum and maximum calculations in our previous video. If you haven't watched it already, go and check it out. We will again write equal and give the function name min. Click here and then again drag it. After that, close the bracket. Now we can get the minimum number here from 85, 90. So we can see that 70 is the minimum number. Okay. Now if I make the 70 as 65, we can see that all our calculations now have changed. The minimum has changed, average has changed, total has also changed. So what we understood is that the places that we have put in functions, we don't have to change that anymore. The main table that we have got, if we change values here, like change the amounts in this place, then we can see that automatically our calculations and functions will change here. But we have to remember if we add another subject other than these six subjects, then that number won't be recorded automatically here. Because in the function we have selected from C8 to H8. That means the last column that we have given is H8 and the first column is C8. So now if I want to add another column I and I8, then I have to change the function as well to I8. Only after that our function will interact with the values of I8. Now if you don't understand this area, then go check out the previous videos from shikhan.com. Then you would understand that to do sum, there are three different processes and how to use these different processes to get the same answer. Then we go to maximum. Again we give equal and give the function max. Then we give enter. Uh, sorry, let's give bracket after max. And then again, we select all the columns. We close the bracket and press enter and we get the maximum number. So student 1 has got the maximum number 95. His minimum number is 65 and his average is 83. And his total number is 498, 498. After that, we will learn about grade a little bit later. It is a sum if function. We will learn about grading in the next tutorial. Today we will learn how to prepare the mark sheet at first. Now similarly, if I drag minimum downwards, 
then drag maximum downwards. Now we can see automatically all our students minimum and maximum numbers are given out here. Now if we take uh, this row, then it is Rabaya who has 85, 87, 97, 86, 58, 75 in numbers in all the subjects, from which the highest is 97. So in my maximum there is 97 and in minimum there is 58. So like this, we can very easily get all the values in columns by simply just dragging them down. And we can see automatically all the marks of all the students come here. Now let's increase the number of students. Let's say we give a sixth student. And let's give him name Rakib. And let's add their number. For example, 87, 56, then 89, then 95 and 90. And then let's give it 85. Now we can see that automatically our result is showing here as we drag the functions beforehand. So now we can see that automatically all our boxes have been filled. So when we do the formatting this way, then while working on the data sheet, automatically our counts will appear in the boxes. Now let's save the file. To do this, we can go to the top left corner or simply press Ctrl and S. We should always remember to save our file. This has to be done for troubleshooting purposes. In case of a power loss, if our system shuts down, then we can recover our file by saving it. Now we can see that our main heading is smaller in size. So let's select it and drag it. Let's bring it to the very end and let's click merge and center. As we select, we can see that our heading and our sheet has become equal. We can also see that our merge is done successfully. So this is how we have taken out the results of the students. Now we would like to know who came first, second, third in our result sheet. But in the current situation, I have to find it out manually. But there is no need for that. So let's write down here. First. Second. And let's give here third. So what we have done here is make three rows. Now what we have to do is determine that who has scored the most marks in this mark sheet. Then we have to determine the second place and then the third place as well. So to get this, the function that we have to write is equal LARG large bracket. Now what we have to do is choose and drag the total column totally. This is because we would determine the position based on the total marks that everyone has got in the mark sheet because we have already got the total marks of every subject each and every student has got. Now we want to determine the first, second and the third positions within this total numbers. Also in all the functions we have already seen that the name of the first box which in this case is J8 then there is a column and then the name of the last box is written. We are doing all the functions like this way. We are taking the names of the first and the last box in the bracket and when we use the equal function with these box names we can get the result. Now. When we use the large function and decide from which box to which box we are going to use, we need to determine who has got first. Now for doing that, what we are going to do is, like here we have taken J13 as the last box, we will give a comma after that, then we will write 1. So we are commanding the function to determine the first position in the mark sheet. Let's press enter. After entering, we can already see that within all these numbers, the highest number here is 502. Now the person who has got 502, that is Rakib, he has got first. Now for second, we would write equal large. Now let's select the boxes again. After selecting, similarly, after J13, we will give a comma. After comma, we will write 2. Because in this box, we want to determine who has got the second place in the mark sheet. Let's press enter. Now we can see that 501 has been selected. We have to keep in mind that after the function, we always have to give a comma, then write 1, 2 or 3 to determine first, second or third. Now let's go to the third place box, equal, large, select the boxes once more, then comma and 3. After pressing enter, we can see that the third highest number has been selected here. Similarly, we can get the highest number or any ranked numbers if we want in a mark sheet or any other data entry sheet. Like in the sales data sheet, we can determine the highest, the second highest, the third highest sales done in that report. 
So all we have to do is use the large function here. Then we have to mark the first and the last box with a colon. After that, our most important part, we have to give a comma. Then write 1, 2, 3 and prepare our function like this way so that we get the first, second and third positions. So what we have learned in the result sheet, we learned average, minimum, maximum and in the result sheet, who ranked first, second and third, we have determined that as well. So now the only thing that is left to learn here is grade. That in the result sheet, we are going to discuss now who has got what grade.